A lot of crazy exoplanets exist out there in the universe, and today we're going to explore a few that are kind of concerning to think about. From a planet that's so hot that it rips apart hydrogen gas, to a place where water will kill you and more, it's about to get really out of this world levels of crazy around here, so let's get exploring. So for starters, we've got this wobbler getting sucked into its sun, real name WASP-12b, and this was discovered in about 2008. So Earth is doomed. Just a fun fact, but not for about 5 billion years. Our planet will be roasted as our sun expands and becomes a dread giant, but uh, this uh, exoplanet, we're gonna just call it WASP, located about 600 light years away in the constellation Auriga, has less than a thousandth of that time left. A comparative just three million years. This planet's star is stealing pieces of the planet with its extreme gravitational pull every time it orbits it, which only takes about 1.1 days to complete a year's cycle. According to scientists, the planet's gravity is stretching it into the shape of an egg, while it is also scorching at approximately 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. A Princeton-led team of astrophysicists has shown that WASP is spiraling in towards its host star, heading towards certain destruction. Their paper appeared in the December 27th, 2019 issue of the Astrophysical Journal Letters, by the way. So WASP is known as a hot Jupiter, a giant gaseous plant like our neighborhood planet Jupiter, but it's very close to its own star orbiting its sun in just 26 hours. By contrast, by the way, we take 365 days to orbit. And even Mercury, the innermost planet of our solar system, takes like 88. So the problem with WASP is that as it orbits its star, the two bodies exert gravitational pulls on each other, raising tides like the ocean tides raised by the moon on Earth. Within the star, these tidal waves cause the star to become slightly distorted and to oscillate. Because of friction, these waves crash and the oscillations die down, a process that gradually converts the planet's orbital energy into heat within the star. The friction associated with the tides also exerts a gravitational torque on the planet, causing the planet to spiral inward. Measuring how quickly the planet's orbit is shrinking reveals how quickly the star is dissipating the orbital energy, which provides astrophysicists clues about the interior of stars. So WASP was discovered through the transit method, where astronomers observe a small dip in a star's brightness as the planet passes in front of it, each time it completes an orbit. Since its discovery, the interval between successive dips has shortened by 29 milliseconds per year, which this was first noted in 2017. My co-author on that paper, Kishore Patra. That slight shortening could suggest that the planet's orbit is shrinking. All right, next up we've got this cotton candy super puff that doesn't care for density, known as WASP 107b. We'll just call it 107. As much as the idea of a land made out of cotton candy sounds like a fun and fluffy time in theory, trying to live there would be an absolute nightmare. 107 is a highly active K-type main sequence star located about 212 light years away in the constellation of Virgo. The planet orbits very close to the star, over 16 times closer than the Earth is to the Sun once every 5.7 days. Now it has one of the coolest atmospheres of any of the exoplanets ever discovered, although at 500 degrees Celsius, or 932 degrees Fahrenheit, it is still radically hotter than Earth. The high temperature is thought to be the result of tidal heating caused by the planet's slightly non-circular orbit, and this can explain how WASP 107b, or 107, can be so inflated without resorting to extreme theories of how it was formed. A likely source of this planet's extra internal energy is tidal heating caused by its slightly elliptical orbit. With the distance between the star and planet changing continuously over the 5.7 day orbit, the gravitational pull is also changing, stretching the planet and heating it up. This was also first discovered in 2017, and it's one of the least dense exoplanets known, because, well, it's that, that cotton candy situation. So why is this weird? Well, when D.R. Anderson and a team of colleagues discovered it as part of a study, they realized it's a planet that defies science, because it's a gas giant with a solid core that amounts to a mass of about four Earths. Also, 85% of this mass is self-contained within the planet's gassy atmosphere. As a gas giant, this is kind of peculiar, since previously it was believed that for a planet to be considered a gas giant, it needed to have a solid core of a minimum of 10 Earth masses to attract gas. Although this is odd, and it has changed how scientists evaluate gas giant planets, it isn't the only weird thing about uh, 107b. The weirdest element of this planet is its extremely squishy, low-density atmosphere which scientists liken to a marshmallow, which is why it's called Cotton Candy Super Puff. The density is so thick that wading through it would be like walking through a sticky marshmallow. So when you think about the exoplanet's giant radius, extended atmosphere, and edge on orbit, it makes it ideal for transmission spectroscopy, which is a method used to identify all the gases. Kinda neat, but also sticky. Time to talk about a lump of coal that barely reflects light. 
TRES-2B was discovered on August 21st of 2006 by the Transatlantic Exoplanet Survey by detecting the transit of the planet across its parent star. This discovery was confirmed by the WM Keck Observatory on October 8th of 2006 by measuring the radial velocity of the star that hosts it. Okay, just for clarification's sake, we're going to call it midnight. So why is this weird? Well, if you're afraid of the dark, this is one exoplanet you're not going to want to get yourself lost on. Unlike a lot of other planets in the universe, midnight is known by researchers over at NASA as the planet of eternal night, since it is considered by most to be the darkest planet ever to orbit a star. So the reason it can be so dark is because the planet is less reflective than coal. In fact, it only reflects a mere 1% of any light that hits it. It's safe to say that if anyone ever flew within its atmosphere, they would be flying without sight. The planet was identified in 2011 as the darkest known exoplanet, and that's when they confirmed that it's about 750 light years away from the solar system. Like, this is worse than charcoal, or like, really bad. The planet's mass and radius indicate that it is a gas giant, with a bulk composition similar to that of Jupiter. But unlike Jupiter, but similar to many planets detected around other stars, midnight is located very close to its star, and belongs to the class of planets known as hot Jupiters. So this system was within the field of view of the Kepler spacecraft, and it continues to be studied by other projects. And the parameters are just constantly going bonkers. Okay, here's a doozy. This planet is so hot, it rips apart hydrogen gas on the day shift. It's actually known as Kelt 9 b by the way. So it's a planet that is hotter than most stars, with a daylight temperature of 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit. The planet's sun is so hot that hydrogen gas molecules cannot remain intact and are in fact ripped apart and unable to reform. It's also believed that the heat is unraveling the exoplanet through evaporation, even though the extreme radiation from its sun has caused the planet to puff up like a balloon. So this planet is currently 2.8 times the mass of Jupiter, and it might just be the weirdest exoplanet that astronomer Scott Gotti has ever found. So he's a researcher at The Ohio State University and is the lead author of a paper published in Nature describing this crazy gassy exoplanet. So it's tidally locked to its host star, meaning one side eternally faced a blast of radiant heat. The 4300 degrees Celsius temperature of this exoplanet's day side is only about a thousand degrees Celsius cooler than the surface of our sun. So fun fact, if all of this exoplanet were this hot rather than just the day side, it could be a star. But it still falls short of that classification because it doesn't heat itself by means of hydrogen fusion. So instead, its heat comes from the intense radiation from its nearby host star, Kelt 9, which is about twice the mass, size, and temperature of our sun. And sizzling in at 9,900 degrees Celsius, it is the hottest star known to host a transiting exoplanet. So if a naked eye observer could see Kelt 9 from Earth, the star would look bright blue because of its high temperature, rather than the yellow-orange of our much cooler sun. The star's tumultuous radiation could be heating up and stripping away the exoplanet's atmospheric hydrogen and helium and flinging it into a tail like a comet. In fact, the planet may lose mass at a rate anywhere between 10 billion to 10 trillion grams per second because of the heat. In 300 million years, most of the planet could evaporate and potentially leave behind a rocky core. What's even crazier? This exoplanet experiences two summers and two winters every time it orbits its sun, lasting nine hours each season. And finally, we've got a planet where the water's gonna kill you, known as K2-18b, by the way. For years, scientists have been hopeful that maybe this exoplanet could sustain life since water was discovered on its surface in 2019. Unfortunately, although there is indeed water on here, it's gonna kill anybody. That's because it is covered in super compressed and superheated seas that sit in a state between liquid and gas. So ultimately, temperatures and pressures are far too high to support life, and the planet is covered by a steamy water vapor atmosphere. But don't worry, there are some like possible hopes. Data from the JWST telescope has shown that this exoplanet has some of the chemical markers that here on Earth are associated with living organisms. So how likely is it that this exoplanet has alien life? Chances are low, but not impossible. And that's it for me once again, folks. I've been Alexa, your resident ooky spooky girly. See y'all next time, you lovely spooky people.